this. There we go. Basically, I need some duct tape if you need it. Ah, should be right. right. That's because it's the floor anyway, so. Yeah. Okay, welcome back to the channel. Hold the drill for me. Yep, chuck it here. Bang. Nice. Right, so we'll pull this bad boy in. Hey Sammy, if you're watching bro, this is what I was talking about. That little sponge thing that I'm gonna send you. Come around here, Maxfield. Obviously, obviously, Sammy, it's a little bit different because it's epoxy, but you get you get the point, bro. Of um, instead of using the brush, put all this hard shit down on the bottom. That's epoxy. Thank <laughs> you. 
And for the XC bro, I'm going to use the Corona Cortez to uh, cut this in bad boy. So I'm repping the XC today. So yeah, check out the roller bro, we've got the 36 inch. Oh, this floor. Crazy, eh? Yeah. Yeah, see that on bench tops and stuff. I've been watching videos about it. it looks so good. Oh, yeah, lots of <coughs> Lots of different story. All right, guys, we're here. We've got this massive floor. How big is it, Mickey? Uh, 600 square meters. 600 square meters. So, so 600 floor. square meters in imperial, imperial measurement, as the Americans would use, is roughly um, 6,459 square feet, to be exact. So, and we've got this nice flake, which you saw earlier. Mickey's just cutting in the edges here, and then we'll begin. We're probably going to go. Snake down, back, right along. We've got this boxes of flake spread out. And then we're going to finish at that back door there. If you just want to show the people, show them um, how thick this is, so you can see. You can see obviously that it's a lot thicker than any paint. So you watch when you go to cut in. It's look, look, see how it comes out. It comes out like texture. So it's not the easiest to cut in. As long as you get in as much as you can. Anyways, this is going to get painted from the painter anyway. I don't want to mess up the other painter who's going to be doing the floor. But I'm uh, doing the um, skirting board, I mean, so. That's about it. He's, he's, put just... tape. he's put tape under here so you can just carefully roll to that end. Still be pretty slippery, I reckon. Um, about to find out. I don't know. 
do this, but it didn't work. But it's all good. It's like you're blessing the slab, mate. Good guy, Josh, isn't he? Good guy. Feed them chickens, boy. And the big secret is coming on up. You might say, it looks uneven. It's patchy. You're doing it wrong. But hold up a minute. Stay tuned. Mickey, you can't do that. He's out of control. We're looking good, coverage is looking good. Now we pull out the secret weapon, I think, very soon. You see the little dry spots, people? The little dry spots, you gotta get that action cranking like that. You know? If you've never done this before, then you cannot comment. So, we've been doing this for nearly 20 years here, huh? <laughs> A shitload to do, boys. But don't worry, we got we got the supplies here.
how to stretch your material further. Both the fleck as well with the with the blower. Yeah. Works well, eh? Perfect. Yeah, and it spreads it so even as well. Yeah, and it's natural spread. You want a bag? What you just saved. Hey? What you just saved. Yeah, you didn't have to crack another bag. Yeah. And it spread it so well already. Oh, that's crazy.